Public awareness plays a vital role in society, giving individuals the knowledge to act upon global and local issues. Globally, there is still a considerable lack of awareness on the interrelated nature of all human activities and the environment. NPR Steve Inskeep reports. A couple of polls last week found that barely half the American public believes that carbon dioxide building up in the atmosphere could warm our planet. Kari Marie Norgard of Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington, says even as scientists become more confident that climate change is a serious hazard, public opinion is shifting the other way. When spreading awareness, there is an essential role for civil society. These are non-government groups who organize themselves to deal with specific issues and concerns that governmental process cannot address by itself. According to the World Bank, the growth of civil society has been one of the most significant trends in international development. The media utilizes print, radio, television, and the internet as powerful allies in giving information to the public. However, when gaining knowledge from the media, skepticism must come into play. Spin vs. Scientific Fact is a reality that we face and is discussed by Ian McDonald on National Public Radio. We think the worst case scenario has been in effect all along. But why are the numbers that BP and the government um, putting out so different? Well, the BP is obviously spinning this uh, story. Um, it's not clear why this is taking so long, but we definitely need to move from the spin to the science. Looking beyond the spin of this large scale and glancing quickly at the greater Richmond region, we see a pressing issue that deserves more public awareness, cigarette butt litter. 4,000 toxic chemicals from each butt leach out into our local waterways, threatening species diversity and water quality. Cigarette butt litter and fires have a major economic impact. In 2004, in Richmond, a butt was the cause of 26 burning buildings and $20 million in damage. A strategy in China has recently been discovered using the tar and cigarette butts to line steel pipes to prevent from rusting. This strategy could be implemented in the Richmond area, saving costs on the corrosion of steel pipes, the materials needed for repair, as well as spreading awareness on cigarette butt recycling.